Hi guys, welcome back. I'm knelt down again talking to a camera because in today's video I'm going to be sorting out the rusty battery tray. As you can see here, the battery's just held on with some cable ties and you can see the surface rust on the battery tray here. I thought it was a lot worse when I first saw it, but it's not. It should clean up lovely this. So I'm going to crack on first by snipping these and getting rid of the battery. As you can see, it's just all surface rust. It's pretty rock solid. I'm going to leave that earth, earth point on there. I've unclipped this from underneath as well and I'm just going to get the drill in there with a wire brush and clean it up the best I can, making sure I don't catch any of these wires that are knocking around. I've given it a good going over now with the drill and the wire brushes. It's come up really, really well. It's got rid of all the horrible manky surface rust. It's nowhere near as bad as I thought. It's rock solid that. I don't think that bolt's going to go in. I'm going to have to get two bolts, I think, and sorry, a bolt and two nuts. Next, I'm going to apply the Hammerite Corrust. You apply this, um, it says you put it in a small tub, apply it with a paintbrush, it's quite drippy as I've seen in reviews online. You have to make sure you do not get it on paint. I'm going to apply it all over, it says it'll turn the rust black or blue. If it doesn't you have to reapply it within one hour, but I think it should work alright here. And then it says you can start applying your top coat after three hours. So I think this is going to be it for tonight on the car. I'm going to apply this, sheet it up and then leave it overnight. The consistency of this is like milk. So I'm just going to be very careful with it when I'm putting it on. Well I've painted it all now, I'm just going to leave that for three hours, I'm going to put the bonnet back down and I'm going to get some sheeting over this so no rain comes through the vent in the night and drips on it. I hope I get in tonight and the sun will be shining so I could crack on with this battery tray but it's not, it's absolutely throwing it down. The car is sheeted up under that bonnet so I'm just going to have to wait till tomorrow now and fingers crossed the weather clears up and I can get on with finishing off that battery tray. It's been a few days now since I applied the Corrust. Um, it's been raining every night. I've not had a chance to crack on with the car. The weather does look a little bit better today. It's just stopped raining. It's not ideal conditions for cleaning, uh, for painting the car. But I'm going to open the bonnet now, pull that cover back that I've had on to keep it dry and see how that Corrust has worked. I've pulled that cover I put on the other night to keep the rain off. The Corrust looks like it's done its job. There are some brush strokes in this, and I don't know whether you're actually supposed to sand it or not. I'm not too bothered with it being under the bonnet. I'm going to get the zinc primer on it now and see how it comes up. I'm going to start by masking tape everything off the best I can and then getting that spray paint on. I've got the car masking taped up now. Might look a little bit excessive, but it's quite windy today. The battery tray is down there now, ready to have its zinc primer put on. I just hope the rain stays off. I'm going to put a bit of masking tape down and pin this down a bit better where it's flying about. But hopefully, I can start getting the the, um, the primer down now. I'm using Holford Zinc Primer. Anything I use in this video, I'll be putting a link down in the description to it so you can buy it yourselves. This zinc primer is a rust resistant coating. I'm going to put two coats of this on now and leave 15 minutes in between coats. I've literally just got the first coat on, and as usual, why does it always rain on me? It started pissing it down. That's the second coat of primer on now. I've put this on a little bit thicker, seeing as the sun seems to have been coming out. I'm going to cover this up now and just leave it a good half an hour before I start putting the black on. The primer's now dry, and I'm going to start putting the black paint on. Again from Alphas, just forward, standard black. And I'm going to give this two coats as well, leaving 15 minutes in between. I'm going to do a light coat first, then get it smashed on the second time. Hopefully this rain stays off and I can get on with it. Well that's the paint all dry now, it has gone a bit dull, I don't know what you call it, I think I've heard the term before blooming, where because of the moisture in the air it's taken away the shine from the paint but I'm not bothered, it's not turned out perfect, I can't have it perfect because I'm working outside and the rain's coming down and stuff but it's ten times better than it was, if I still got this car in summer I'll probably take that off again and redo it and make sure it's perfect next time but I'm really happy with how it's come out. It's been a day's work I suppose, Weather, uh, weather's been a pain in the arse but I've got it done. 
I've ordered a brand new battery clamp for it as well. The M8 um, bolt that I ordered won't go in the hole. I think the threads have gone with the rust. So I've got an M6 bolt and an M6 nut. I'm going to put the bolt in from the bottom and put the nut on site. So I'm going to reinstall the battery now. Again, everything I've used in this video, I'm going to put down a link to it in the description so you can buy it yourself if you're thinking of doing this as well. There's a new battery clamp on with a new bolt and the nut. The battery's fully secure. Absolutely. Rock solid and in place, no more cable ties, the battery tray is all cleaned up and nice and painted now. I'm really, really happy with this job. Like I said, it's not perfect, but I'm absolutely over the moon with it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. That's me doing my battery, it's all secure now. Like I said in the video, I'm going to put a link to everything that I've used in this video, down to the paint, the new battery clamp, the bolt, um, the carrosse that I got as well. Um, so if you want to buy it, it's a pretty easy job. Just make sure you pick a nicer day than I have. It's been a bit of a struggle all week waiting for the weather to brighten up but I finally got there and got it done. Like I've said all the way through this, it's never ever going to be perfect but at least I know now the rust is treated, it's painted up and it should make it last that little bit longer. And them hideous cable ties have gone as well now. As always, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. I hope you're still enjoying these videos. This car's coming along nicely now. The next video is probably going to be the wheels but keep your eyes peeled for it and I'll see you next time.